Today on Walkabout, we're taking a journey up Route 476, the Northeast Extension. Our destination, Schuylkill County, PA, home of Hawk Mountain Bird Sanctuary. Driving along the Royal Country Roads leading up to Hawk Mountain, such as Route 143, is like stepping into a scene from a Thornton Wilder play. Pastoral beauty, babbling brooks, sweeping vistas, and of course, the open road. There's only one route leading to the summit of Hawk Mountain, so up we go, 1,521 feet, past the Appalachian Trail to the Hawk Mountain Visitor Center, where you can browse the gift shop, learn a little something about raptors, and admire some fine taxidermy work, and maybe even see a few live birds as well. Before I set out bird watching for the day, I wanted to learn a little bit about the park, so I spoke with two helpful volunteers, Jane Levon and Bill Bruderick. Okay, fellas. We just celebrated our 75th anniversary, and when it started out, it was just, you know, like maybe five people. The local farmers, they considered at one time, raptors were considered uh, vermin, and they thought they were doing the chicken farmers a, a big service by shooting as many as they could. It was really slaughter. And this woman from New York, Rosalie Edge, she leased the top of the mountain here. And we had uh, a man and wife by the name of Maurice and Irma Braun who came here and turned away, or tried to turn away all the hunters, which was very intimidating. Hawk Mountain now has over 8,000 members from all over the country. Well, there's one from Michigan, for example. Michigan, Poughkeepsie, Philadelphia, Washington. Virginia, another Virginia. We have a wonderful staff, and we have this internship now that has developed bringing people from uh, foreign countries to intern here. Thanks a lot, Jane and Bill. I'm ready to see the park. Looking at all the beautiful scenery, I was so excited to think of all the birds I would see that day. Maybe even a hawk. So I went to a lookout, and I looked, and I looked, and I looked some more, but no birds, only people, near and far. But I did get a chance to speak with two of those foreign interns Jane mentioned. My name is Bahas Haq, I'm from Palestine. And my name is Ikarani Suchi Harjo. Uh, you can call me Suchi. I'm from uh, West Java, Indonesia. This is the first time I'm in the U.S. This is the nice country with nice people like that. Was every species migrate in different time, so it's my exciting time is now because I like I like the golden eagle and now it's the peak for the golden eagle. So hopefully today we saw two, but hopefully we saw more. My favorite uh, raptor is a bald eagle uh, because. Uh, in Indonesia, we have similar uh, raptor, like a bald eagle, Brahmini kite. Brahmini kite is a symbol uh, for a capital city uh, of Indonesia, Jakarta, like that. So it's uh, similar with the US. So yeah, I like bald eagle in here. Yeah. It's a gorgeous, <laughs> yeah, big raptor, like that. So we do a lot of things, but you know, the most interesting thing it's being in the mountain and counting birds and seeing different species that we don't have it in our land. All of this talk about eagles inspired me to take one last look out over the landscape to see if I might spot just one raptor. But the only birds I was destined to see that day were back at the gift shop. The end of another beautiful day. It was time to hit the road again. Back through the towns of New Ringgold and Albany, I had one last chance to look at all the beautiful scenery Schuylkill County had to offer before I waved goodbye and trucked on down 476 to our next adventure.